So there's been some um, there's been some wildfires happening in California. I don't I don't know if it has anything to do with climate change, but here's where they are. <laughs> That's a lot of look at these wildfires. Do you see all the wildfires in America? Russia, Russia. I I, I blame the KGB or Russia. And of course, you got this is terrifying. going to get in trouble. <laughs> hedge fund collects $3 billion in bet on wildfire insurance claims. So at least the hedge funds can make billions. The Baupus Group, the hedge fund run by Seth Klarman. Friend of the people. Received more than $3 billion last month from its bet on insurance claims against PG&E Corp. Connected to a series of deadly California wildfires. Now that's... A- that- The wallets of Wall Street are with Joe Biden, if not the hearts. Through donations, finance executives played a critical role in helping Joe Biden turn his campaign around. You know, the people making $3 billion off the fucking wildfires. <laughs> These are the kind of people. <laughs> These are the kind of people who are supporting Joe Biden. Seth Klarman. Oh, same guy. Same oh, guy. Oh, look at Seth. Seth, Seth, Seth. Seth Klarman. Oh, look. Seth Klarman. Same guy. Seth Klarman, founder of the hedge fund Baupost. A longtime independent, at one point, New England's biggest giver to the Republican Party, has given over $3 million to groups supporting Joe Biden. Republicans are now, Democrats are now Republicans, Republicans are Democrats. Where it matters. Billionaire Klarman slams Trump, vows to work for Clinton. <laughs> Seth Klarman dumped energy and bought health stocks last quarter. Here's what he's betting on now. Oh, he dumped energy and he bought health stocks. So that makes me think that he knows Joe Biden's going to get elected and Joe Biden has vowed nothing is going to change. And I'm going to veto Medicare for all. Now that guy's buying health care. So he donates to Joe Biden to make sure he gets elected. Then he buys health care stocks and then he cashes in. You see how this works? And why won't Joe Biden give you Medicare for all? Whose own son had a million dollar bill and he couldn't pay it. Barack Obama had to give him the money. Those are the architects of our health care system, ladies and gentlemen. Barack Obama and Joe Biden. And Barack Obama had to give Joe Biden the fucking money. Or else Joe Biden would have had to do a GoFundMe for his kid. A million dollars. 200, anyway. So you see how, so now this guy gives Joe Biden the money and he says no Medicare for all. Joe Biden says, fuck those people. Of course not. And then you get blue check asshole Hollywood's telling you you have to vote for Joe Biden and not demand that he doesn't do shit like this. Democrats drop demand to end fossil fuel subsidies from the party platform. (laughs) What? Joe Biden and running mate Kamala Harris each ran on axing subsidies, but the party said including that in the final draft of the platform was an error. Nothing like looking up at the new moon stained blood red from the apocalyptic wildfires and being told that I have to vote for the pro-oil subsidies party in order to save the world. After 48 years, Democrats endorse nuclear energy in their platform. The Democratic Party is not supposed to be pro-nuclear energy. And now they are complete. There is nothing left of the Democratic Party that is, is they're supposed to be the party of the workers. They, there's nothing, nothing. A 2019 Gallup poll found that 65% of Republicans strongly favored nuclear energy, but only 42% of Democrats did so. So naturally, the Democrats would then endorse nuclear energy since a minority of their constituents want it. 
whereas 90 percent of Democrats want Medicare for all and they vowed to stop it. Do you see how that they're not really a political party? A political party represents its members. The Democrats don't represent its members. They only represent the elite. Their donor class. They're not a political party. About 300 environmental groups, including Greenpeace, Sierra Club, and public citizens, said we flatly reject the argument that increased investment in nuclear capacity is an acceptable or necessary solution. Nuclear power should not be a part of any solution to address global warming. Well, yeah, well, go fuck, fuck you. Vote for Biden anyway. Fuck you guys. You guys care about the planet? Fuck you. Joe Biden embraces nuclear power, unlike some of his Democratic opponents. <laughs> The last time the Democratic Party platform contained a positive statement about nuclear energy was in 1970 fucking two. That's how bad the Democratic Party has gotten. They're the equivalent of the Republican Party in 1972. I would say they're worse. <laughs> Why don't we want nuclear power? Because we still haven't figured out how to clean up the last accident. It's still poisoning the sea. They have nowhere to put that stuff. And you know what their idea is? What they're going to do with all the nuclear uh, tainted water? They're going to um, put it into the sea. <laughs> That's their big idea. <laughs> this handout photo released by Tokyo Electric Power Company shows the tsunami coming onto the slope at the eastern side of a radioactive solid waste storage facility. At the Fukushima nuclear power plant on March 11th, 2011. Here it comes. Here comes the tsunami. What a great idea to put it on the shore. Put it right there. What could go wrong? Hey, I know. Let's have some more nuclear power plants in California, and then we'll have wildfires all around them. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Oh, maybe we'll put it on a fault. Maybe, maybe an earthquake fault. What could go wrong? Overcoming health consequences of Fukushima nuclear accident. Joe Biden embraces nuclear power, unlike some of his... I just want... That's, so there, that's where we are. That's how bad the Democratic Party has gotten. Not only are they in bed with the fossil fuel companies again, they're in bed with nuclear power. You better vote for Joe Biden, though. I don't, I don't really know why. Because you're a petulant child? Because uh, immigration? You mean the immigration that Joe Biden set up? The Department of Homeland Security, ICE, and they, and they, and neither, and Joe Biden is not going to get rid of ICE. He's not going to get rid of deportations. He's not going to get rid of the cages. He's not getting rid of anything. Now who's being naive, Kay? Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program and get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. <laughs> 